It was incredible, yeah, no, it's tone. unbelievable. Oh, so what do you say that we bring out our guest for today? I think it's a great idea. Wonderful. Today's guest is from the town of Worthington in Nobles County. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Marv Spomer from Spomer Classics and Museum. Welcome, Mr. Spomer. Welcome. Thank you, but you can call me Marv. Oh, okay. Well, nice. Okay, Marv, can you um, un tell us a little bit about your museum in the town of Worthington? Yes, be happy to. Uh, the museum was started about, uh, the collection was started about 25 years ago. And about uh, four years ago, five years ago, we decided that we would share the collection with the public. There's a lot of private collections like this, but nothing... Uh, open to the public every day like we've done with this. And what you will see there is not only a collection of cars, there's some very unusual cars and there's some low number built cars, but uh, our main emphasis is on signs. Really? Porcelain, neon signs. And porcelain signs and neon signs is art that's not used anymore. It's a mm. thing of the past. And uh, we have decided to share this with people. So. These, what you will be looking at would be all vintage signs, starting some of them back as, as early as the early 1900s. I'll be done. Right. And the majority of them come out of auto dealerships, but we have expanded our collection to include farm implement signs, uh, lots of automobile memorabilia, farm really? memorabilia, pedal cars, uh, various items that are interest to a lot of different people. Now the, we we kind of we kind of re renew the the old days. Sure. Now you mentioned neon signs. I, I didn't realize they weren't making those anymore. There are very few neon signs built really? anymore. Really? Right. Now are these signs donated or did you purchase very good them? Question. They have been purchased. Really? And they are wow. from all over the country. Really? In fact, some signs were used in movie props in Hollywood. Oh, really? I have three signs that came out of Hollywood. There are some signs that are still in the original shipping crates. Oh, really? That's oh. interesting. Yep. So it's a variety that interests a lot of different people. In fact, uh, we've had, our, not only do we have bus tours, mm -hmm. but we've had, uh, we've had high school history classes. We, uh, we take them back in history. Mm. And uh, one of our first groups was actually a ladies group. In uh. fact, we've had the red hat, la hat ladies come through, oh, car, sure. yes. car okay. clubs and uh, various other uh, groups. In fact, even church groups and different organizations uh, come through, and uh, we, uh, we do a walk-through tour. Mm -hmm. So we explain there's history on just about all these signs. Oh, I'm sure. And the, now, when it comes to the cars that you have there, yes. what, what, what years, what types, what do you have in that regard? Well, we've got, we've got some muscle cars. That's the hot thing these days. Mm -hmm. But we have, uh, we have some other older cars. We have a good selection of convertibles. Ooh. We'd have some Corvettes. Ooh. We have, uh, in fact, we usually show some cars that we're in process of re restoring at the, p this particular time. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can come in and you might see a variety of anything. And it, things change. We keep adding every day. Every day is working on either signs or cars. Wonderful. So you do your own restoration of vehicles as yes. well, yes. is that correct? Yes, okay. right. My. right. Right. Yep. Well, what hours are your muse museum open? We are basically open from 9 to 5. Oh, nice. Every day of the week? Every day of the week except wow. weekends. Okay. And we, most of our tours are basically set up on, by appointment. And okay. we, we appreciate that because <clears throat> when you're working all the time, you might not be uh, dressed properly to be giving a tour oh, group sure. through. But, uh, but we have people stopping in all the time uh, that come off the interstate. I mean, our guest book is pretty full from this summer. Oh, it really yeah, is. They yeah. Are, yeah. And they're from all over the country. Sure. Now, what is the address of the museum so people can locate you in Worthington? We're 322 Oxford Street. Okay. And it's very easy to find. If anybody coming into town, they take the business loop right off the interstate, they can't miss it. Wonderful. Do you have a website by any chance? We do. Okay. Our, our, our website okay. is uh, www.spomerclassics.com. And uh, you can pull that up, and we've got a toll-free number as well as all our, all our cell phone number and everything's great. there. Wonderful. That's great. Wonderful. And we, we need to get over there. I think we so. We invite you to come over. Really do. That would be great. Yep. Yes, that you, would be great. wonderful to see. Yep. Marv, this has been great, and I'll bet with all those cars you have, you've done a lot of traveling around southern Minnesota. Oh, I, we sure have. And uh, 
uh, the citizens from your county have uh, seen a lot of what you've showed too. And uh, can we can we see another? We sure can, Mark. Okay. I know we're lost in Minnesota, but let's just keep driving. Maybe we can see some more. I got, I got these visitor guides, you know. Oh, there's a sign up there. I can tell you about this town. It's coming up right here, then. Okay, Inga. Inga, did you know Adrian is a small but progressive community located in the western portion of Nobles County in southwestern Minnesota? Over the years, Adrian has maintained a solid economic base due to its agricultural ties and over 80 businesses providing employment. With addition to the city's efforts, there are numerous clubs, organizations, churches, and school, which all play an important part in moving the community forward and enhancing quality of life in Adrian, you know. Oh, Lars, look at the specialty shops. Now there's your shopper's paradise. Sure is a nice town. We're going to mark that on the map and come back then? Yeah, Inga. That was great. Can we see another? Oh, we sure can. Let's look. Oh, hello again. Colonel Von Breger here. I was just going over some of my adventures here in my journal. Have I ever told you about the time I was on safari in Africa? Ah, uh, perhaps not. Or the time I flew over uncharted waters in the Black Sea. Ah, uh, there again, perhaps I haven't shared that with you. Well, these are some of my adventures, and I'm going to be doing other adventures now in the South, specifically Southern Minnesota, visiting towns and communities. In fact, we're taking an adventure today. Well, why don't you join me as we go to... Dynamic Janesville, Minnesota is located on Highway 14 between Mankato and Wasika. Janesville offers a wide variety of year-round activities for visitors and residents. Take a stroll down historic Main Street or enjoy a relaxing afternoon at Lakeview Park on the shores of Lake Elysian. Or play a round at Prairie Ridge, a rare reversible nine-hole golf course. Janesville truly is a community dedicated to preserving the past and building for the future. Bully! Well, let's discover some of the fine businesses and establishments as we continue our adventure. Love that town, and Marv, love that museum. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? Well, I'd like to thank you for this, and I'd oh, like absolutely. to invite the people to come and view this, but I have one other thing. Okay. The person responsible for this is sitting in the audience. Oh, really? Really? That's, that's oh. my wife. And oh, I I'll, see her. Oh, I do. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. And I'll tell you how this took place. She was an antiquer. And about, oh. I used to go with her. And we always got along real good to antiquing, but she said one day about 26 years ago, she said, why don't you look for automotive stuff since I was in the automobile business? Oh, so, okay. Guess what? That's, as that's you can see, started. that's how it all started. And here we are today. That that's is outstanding. Wonderful. That's great. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Mark. This has been just terrific. Mm -hmm. well, thank I you. just enjoyed it. And ladies and gentlemen, be sure and visit this point of interest in Worthington, Minnesota. Absolutely. So do I have to leave now? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Stick around, Mark. Stay. We still have a lot to cover. Why don't you just relax and enjoy the rest of the show?